it's Bristol Nights with Games.com here, and today is the eleventh day of book. Hey, go first. I think you go first. Just yes. go first. Yes, I go first because I because she just went first. First in in her present in one. I and can't see that. If it's one, one. I can't see that. Ah! Recommended by Sage Llamas as well as mine. So both of these books were recommended by Sage Llamas. We got um, a lot of them. Wayside, them. This is Wayside School is Falling Down by Louis Satar. Satar. I don't know how to pronounce words very well. Um, but mm. yes, we will take a look at reading. Um, wait, I think I might have a book like this one. I'm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I have a book about Wayside School. I don't. I don't think it's this one, or they might have changed the title. But I have a book about this that I just have in my room, and I reread it like a lot. So <laughs> yeah, I think Cooper will really like that one because I have well, a book about that same series. Okay, my turn. Well, I got a lot of books. Ooh, this is a, this is a very large book. I, I, I really like the way the pages turn on this one, I just realized. It's very satisfying. But this is Bill Bryson's A Short History of Nearly Everything. Um, and it seems like an astronomy book from the, from the cover. Let me read the back. In A Short History of Nearly Everything, the famed and much beloved writer Bill Bryson confronts his greatest challenge to understand and, if possible, answer the oldest, biggest questions we have posed about the universe and ourselves. Taking us his territory, everything from the Big Bang to the rise of civiliza civilization, Bryson seeks to understand how we got from being there from nothing at all to being us. To that end, he has attached himself to a host of the world's most advanced and often obsessed archaeologists, paleontologists, physicists, astronomers, and anthropologists, anthropologists, and mathematicians traveling to their offices, laboratories, and field camps. A short history of nearly everything is the record of this quest, and it is a profound, funny, supremely clear, and entertaining, entertaining adventures in the realms of human knowledge, as only Bill, Bill, Bill Bryson can render it. Um, but yeah, this definitely sounds really, really interesting. Um, and this is like a really long history book, which sort of seems like just a big crash course full of history and story of the world and a lot of things just shoved into one big book, which I'm very excited about. I love history. As you know, I'm a big history fan. And it seems like it covers astronomy and paleontology and um, anthropology and physics and all of these subjects which I'm really really interested in at the moment so I'm definitely very excited to take a peek at this book. Do you cool. want to give an update on where you are when you're reading? Oh yes I am with my reading. Um, I have finished Hero and Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Very long book title and I absolutely love them both. They're both really really good. Um, so thank you so much to the people who recommended those. I don't remember who specifically recommended either of them but they were both very very good for it. so thank you for the recommendations. So, Cooper, do you want to go ahead and read this one? Or yes. Or the first story in this one? Let's do all of them. And mine with my books. Louis Sattar, Wayside School is Falling Down. There's a 19 on the book. There's a 19 on the book. So, there's a short story first, so I think we'll read this in the first few pages of the next mm -hmm. story. Louis at the computer on the counter next to Charlie, Sherry's desk. Now watch closely, said Miss Jules. Everyone gathered around the new computer. I had a full color monitor and two disk drives. Miss Jules pushed it out the window. They all watched it fall and smash against the sidewalk. See, said Miss Jules, that's gravity. Oh, now I get it, said Joe. Thank you, Lewis, said Miss Jules. I've been trying to teach them about gravity all morning. We had been using pencils and pieces of paper, but the computer was a lot quicker. Wayside School is Falling Down. Illustrated by Adam McCauley and written by Lewis Sachar. Number one, a package for Miss Jules. Lewis, the yard teacher, frowned. The schoolyard, the schoolyard was a mess. There are pencils and pieces of paper everywhere. How did this junk get here, he wondered. Well, I'm not going to pick it up. It wasn't his job to pick up garbage. He was just supposed to pass out the ball during lunch and recess and make sure the kids didn't kill each other. He sighed, then began cleaning it up. He loved all the children at Wayside School. He didn't want them playing on a dirty playground. As he was picking up the pencil and pieces of paper, a large truck drove into the parking lot. It honked its horn twice, then twice more. Lewis ran to the truck. Quiet, he whispered. Children are trying to learn in there, he pointed, up the, he pointed at the school. A short man with big, bushy hair stepped out of the truck. I have a package for someone named Miss Jules. I'll take it, said Lewis. Are you Miss Jules? No, said Lewis. I have given... I have to give it to Miss Jules. 
Lewis thought a moment. He didn't want the man disturbing the children. He knew how much they hated to be interrupted when they were working. I'm Miss Jules. But you just said you weren't Miss Jules. I changed my mind. The man got the package out of the back of the truck and gave it to Lewis. Here you go, Miss Jules, he said. Uh, Lewis grunted. It was a very heavy package. The word fragile was printed on every side. He had to be careful not to drop it. So that's as far as we're going to read this time, because we don't want to be reading the entire book. Uh, Cooper, did you enjoy it so far? Yes. I have either the first or second book, or, I don't know, one of the books in this series of books about Wayside School, and I actually really like it. I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember when I got it. But I remember, I know that I read it a lot when I get bored, and I think that Cooper is really going to like these stories as well. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the bell to get notifications on Link. all your devices um, so that you know what Apex. we get on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. So yeah, mm -hmm. thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!